what's going on everybody in today's video i'm going to show you a concept of actually using rss feeds for youtube videos or you could use them for anything where there's blog posts whatever the case may be to actually automatically scrape that content every single day and then you can take that data and use it to get the actual data scrape that data whether it's like a youtube video etc and then um, leverage that data and other stuff down the line let's dive right into it All right, so I actually built this out using N8N. Um, you can do a similar thing with make.com. You can do the same thing pretty much. I'm not going to dive through this whole in-depth build. If you want me to do something like that, let me know. But this is pretty much built on the video I did like two days ago. If you want to know more about that, uh, check that video out. It's called, um, it's the YouTube N8N video. Two days ago, it's 47 minutes long. I show you in depth how to actually set up the Appify authentication and the HTTP request, but it's like the same thing. This one's going to a different actor. This is going to the YouTube scraper actor, which is, let me just show you what it looks like. This one right here. So it's going to this one. We're putting the YouTube video link in here. We're running that scraper it's by api dojo same same guys um and we're just using an http request to post that and then we're using one to get that data and then get the data as well through the data set id all of this captions is like pretty much the same um the only difference is i add a filter here since we're scraping these youtube videos every single day and i have a bunch of other youtube videos this is a search filter for Airtable where it's checking the link and the JSON URL, which is the YouTube video that it pulls from the RSS feed to see if it's equal, right? This is a search one to see if it's there. If it is equal, we have a filter right here where the JSON length is equal to zero. So we only want to filter the ones that are zero because that means that it's not equal to something that's already in our base. So that's just briefly on the filter. <laughs> I know I'm going maybe a bit quick for you guys. I'm going to kind of get into the concept in a second. I just wanted to let you guys know if you do want more of an in-depth video on the actual like setting up the authentication with Appify, because that's the main thing that we do with that data in this loop, in this uh, scenario right here afterwards. Um, then I, like I said, the video that's 47 minutes, a couple days ago, I dive into that and show you exactly how click by click, even if you're a beginner, and lots of times when I watch automation videos, I honestly like just want to see the concept because then I can know that, okay, this is how he did it. I can kind of work my way and figure that out or just take that concept and actually build it. Um, but so I did do that two days ago. This one, I just want to, it's kind of like an add on to that concept. So basically you're just using multiple RSS nodes. These are the triggers and we're putting the YouTube RSS feed here to get that. It's just youtube.com forward slash feeds forward slash video dot XML. And then a question mark channel ID equals, and then the channel ID and you can set when it to run it either every minute, hour, day, week, month, X time, custom, etc. So let's say we're doing every, you know, day and we're doing it at 16 hours, which would be like four o'clock. Um, and then we're, you would just test, you would run it, it would automatically pull all seven of these RSS feed videos into our YouTube scraper, get that data, and then we could search it, filter it in Airtable, make sure we don't got, get it, we could get the captions of it, and then update that into our Airtable base, and then we're sending an uh, API to add the thumbnail to Airtable. And I showed how to do that in the, the other video as well. So that's one way you could do it. Second way is, I guess, a little bit more. It's like could be easier, could be harder, but we are basically this could be our cron job. I'm not gonna show you the like everything for this, but we're just running. This is just a list, so we're putting all the uh, RSS feeds in a list, and then we're adding a loop, and we're doing a get request to those URLs in from the loop. And it's just going to loop through all the URLs in the list. Then we're converting that to XML, XML to JSON. 
and then we're appending them merging them like that and then we're doing the same thing all right so um but yeah this way is very easy uh to be honest this way is super super easy you just do the j uh the rss trigger and it will pull the most recent ones so you could literally be scraping the youtube video every single day and it's gonna go um into your appify actor you could just put it to like yeah you could yeah that's that's really it um you don't have to have this filter you don't even have to have the captions but like i said if you want more in-depth check out that other video um, I hope this gives you some that idea of the concept. Um, but honestly, I literally covered everything in the video two days ago. So um, in terms of like this stuff, like setting up, because this stuff is the same. You're literally just going here. You're setting up your Appify authentication. You're sending the same headers. And then you're just changing the JSON. So this is the only thing that would change. And this is what you get um if i go to appify you just go to your actor and you go to the json you copy this and then you're just replacing this with the youtube variable link in nan like so okay so that is pretty much the concept on doing this if you want like me to actually really go in depth on it let me know but i know uh like I literally just made one a couple days ago and as well, like I said, when I'm watching these videos, this is kind of just a concept I didn't know how to do. Like I didn't even know you could really do it. I mean, I, I knew you, you could do anything, right? But I just didn't fully know um, exactly how to do it. So I, I, the one thing I like about N8N is that you can have like multiple triggers at the start of a of a scenario or whatever you want to call it. You can't really do that in make.com to my knowledge so uh, i'm really loving n8n if you don't know about n8n i would definitely suggest checking out i did like three videos in the last week uh one the one i would highly recommend is the i think it's 40 minutes setting n8n up on your own eps because then you have unlimited executions and it's you like your own hosted domain it's pretty awesome really loving n8n slowly becoming my new favorite automation tool so other than that, guys, if you're new to this channel, um, you know, we upload videos every single day. So if you want to stay up to date with AI tutorials, automation tutorials, um, you know, improving your business, improving your personal life, etc., productivity, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button if you got some value from this. If you want me to go more in depth on this build or show you some other builds, or if you have any questions specifically, let me know in the comments down below. And then also too, guys, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, make sure to check that out. We have about 750 in our uh, members in our free Facebook group and Discord channel. So link for that will be in the description down below, guys. And then also too, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, showing you how to get clients for your high ticket business, B2B, service-based business, coaching, marketing agency, etc., leveraging AI, um, then you're definitely going to want to uh, check that out. But other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.